Good evening, my name is Garrett, and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is Canadian Club 12. This is a, obviously, 12-year-old whiskey that is also at 40% ABV. Uh, I've been doing a couple of the Canadian Clubs. They'll be linked up above and down below. More recently, I've done the 9, and I'll also be doing a versus between the 9 and the 12 to kind of give some AB comparisons. Personally, I found that Canadian whiskeys kind of get pushed under the... the uh, the shelf because people, especially in the whiskey community, find Canadian whiskeys to be too simple or too sweet or both. Personally, I think Canadian whiskeys are a great introduction to what whiskey can be. Uh, I know a lot of people tend to point towards Irish for their first time of introducing whiskeys. I like Irish and Canadian, especially if people are not used to certain notes or certain flavors. Canadians are kind of simple in the concept that they're sweet and they usually have some interesting lighter notes in there. And so, you know, as always, we're gonna be doing two, doing this two different ways. We're gonna go neat, no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a couple drops of water, see what changes up. Now, Canadian Club obviously is that budget Canadian option, uh, relatively accessible for most markets. And always, Canadian whiskey is one of those interesting things because they have some a little bit of loosey-goosey on their rules uh, on how they what they can add to their whiskeys and tend to be your your components of the Canadian whiskeys tend to be aged separately and then blended back together and given some time to marry again in another cask uh, but that's Canadian whiskeys everybody has their own process super dark color there I mean that is almost chocolate like chocolate dark brown Especially compared to the eight, like, or the uh, nine, the nine year one is, is fairly dark, but that seems so much darker. So uh, let's go for notes. Uh, it's rich and almost, you can definitely tell uh, it when the AB comes out for the nine versus the 12, it feels like a more mature nine, obviously. The notes are a little more deeper, a little more rich. Uh, the the sweetness notes are more like leaning towards a darker chocolate versus sweet. They're just got that little bit of dark chocolate note in there. A little bit of toffee. A little bit of oak impact on that, but so much, so much has changed in those few years for it. I feel like. It's simple, but satisfying. So let's go for notes now, or let's go for taste. So let's uh, go for taste. Mm. Mm. Butterscotch, dark chocolate, a little bit of notes like that. A little bit of ABV on the taste as well when it first hits, but nice, rich or deeper tones to it. The oak note is very light. A little bit of spice going on, but like the toffee note is um, a more decadent, and it's got a little bit, a little bit more. Um, um, it, it almost it's almost like a little bit more mature to the taste on that mm. yeah mm. it's got a dryness like a dark chocolate does it's a little buttery a little smooth on that as well but that, that rich note that's in there, it's a very decadent note. Again, it reminds me of like a, not like a super dark chocolate, like a 70, 80%, but like a 60% dark chocolate. We're starting to see where Canadian Club is going with their age statement. And it's a little bit of buttery smoothness going on. That little bit of maple qualities there. Oh, but it's it's got such a good flavor profile to it. Mmm. Okay, uh, let's do some with a little bit of water. Yep, 
you know, I give Canadian Club some credit because they could have went screw top on these ones being that kind of budget area, but they decided to stick with a cork top. Okay. Let's see what changes up here. I don't think I, I can't, I, there's nothing there. <laughs> it is so non-existent on the nose. You get a little bit of sweetness in there, but it's almost, it's almost gone on the nose. A little bit of that oak quality is still there. But here you still pick up everything. You still get the vanilla, that buttery butterscotch note, toffee notes. Here you get just a little bit of vanilla and that little bit of oak. Let's go for taste. Butterscotch all day. Like butterscotch notes. You get that bit of oak in there, that bit of sweetness going on. That rich, dark chocolate note, it's kind of dialed back more, but it's still got that characteristic in there. But as soon as it touches my tongue, my brain goes butterscotch. Again, you still get that bit of toffee, that bit of spice in there, but nothing like the neat version. But that sweetness is still very nice. That bit of oak notes that, that is showing up, that little bit of vanilla is still good. Finishes super quick on these. Really nothing to, uh, to, to hang around about. Sweetness, oak, gone. That's kind of what happens. Yeah, okay, not too bad. Again, you know, being that budget Canadian option, a lot of times these don't have super crazy notes or super interesting uh, finishes. Sometimes they mix it up a little bit, but it's still pretty decent. All right, let's talk about market price because we all know market price is market price. Uh, I could pick up a bottle of this for, mm, I think it's $21 at my local place. And I could pick up the eight or the nine year old for $18. So I pay $3 more, pay, pay another dollar a year almost. <laughs> Uh, and I don't think it's bad. I mean, I, you know, if you're looking for that budget place, I definitely would pick this over the nine any day of the week. It's got a great, it's it's more mature. And as dumb as that sounds, compared to the nine, this is definitely a more mature note. Uh, I love those dark chocolate notes in there. I love that bit of like uh, a higher grade toffee. It's not like a Hershey's toffee uh, or like a Heath bar but it's the uh, sulk. I can't pronounce it. I'll put a picture of it up here. Just a little bit more decadent to it. I still think it's pretty solid. I wouldn't pay absurd prices. I seen uh, when I was down in Florida, I think this one was going for over $30. That's kind of pushing it in my opinion. Uh, at $21, I think it's pretty solid. At 25 would probably be where I'd top out at. But I still think it's a good option, especially if you're looking for Canadian whiskeys. Again, I like to introduce people to both Irish and Canadian because of their interesting, simple palates to a new whiskey drinker. So yeah, there you have it. Canadian Club, 12 year. If you have any questions about the bottle, feel free to ask down below. I'll do my best to answer it. If you have any specific spirits you would like me to review, also let me know down below because I'm always on the hunt for something new and fun and interesting or tasty. And as always, may your last drink of the night be the best one.